Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dianet Sali. You may have heard news about black fungus infection causing blindness and in some cases even death in patients who have recovered from COVID-19 infection. So such cases were quite rare and reported in Gujarat about 4 months ago and I had shared the information in Dr. D. Better Life in video number 669. However, off late, there are more cases reported in another cities like Hyderabad, Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, Pune, causing a lot of fear and alarm in people. So what is black fungus? Why does it affect the patients recovering from COVID-19? And how can we prevent this? So we have to know this. Black fungus or mucormycosis is a rare but very serious fungal infection caused by a group of mold called mucormycetes. These mold live throughout the environment, especially in the water, soil and unhygienic places. So this infection usually affects the people with pre-existing health issues and having lower immunity. So this is precisely one of the reasons why the people recovering from COVID are at higher risk for getting infected by the black fungus. Because when your body is already weak from fighting COVID, you may not be having the ability to fight this infection if you are exposed to the fungus. So mainly the rapid rise in the such cases in COVID patients could be because of the presence of black fungus in the water used in the oxygen humidifier bottles while giving oxygen supply to the patient who require oxygen. And in the water used for steam inhalation, mainly in the vaporizer apparatus, may be the another reason. So although this is dangerous condition with higher mortality rate, the fact that this infection caused by, by unhygienic environment making this infection preventable through awareness and precaution. So kindly share this information. So patients with comorbidity conditions like diabetes, who have undergone organ transplant or patients who are on steroids, immunosuppressants, cancer patients or HIV patients are more prone for having lower immunity and are at higher risk for getting infected with mucormycosis. So the infection can enter one's body through breathing or through the open cuts and wound. So the symptoms caused by black fungus can be pretty severe. But some of the earliest symptoms or some of the most common symptoms include reddish inflammation on and around the eyes, severe pain in the eyes, nose, excruciating headache, blood mixed with mucus or black color mucus you can see. Some of the other symptoms include seeing the presence of black fungus inside the nostrils or inside the mouth. So typically usually the fungus will be white in color, usually. But if you see a black color fungus, please take the patient immediately to the hospital. This disease actually, we can treat it if you are detecting it early with antifungal medica medications like liposomal amphotericin B. However, the, if the infection is detected late, then the mortality rate, rate is extremely high. In a normal patient, the mortality rate could be uh, anywhere between from 50 to 80 percentage. But in high risk patients like HIV patient, this goes up to 95 percentage mortality rate. So this is why it is very important to detect early and to treat early. Now let us talk about how could we prevent this black fungus infection. Like I already said, the black fungus infection can enter one's body especially when the body is weaker or when the immunity is low, either through inhalation or through open cuts and wound. So let's talk about the inhalation first. What could be the possible sources of inhaling the black fungus infection? It could be even be through if you are using not good quality water for whatever for steam inhalation or it can be through the oxygen humidifier used in hospital while giving oxygen to a patient or also can be uh, from the environmental factors like if you are staying near to a factory or a construction site you are more likely to have black fungus infection so how do we prevent this or how do we address each of these problems in hospital when the oxygen is given Usually they give through distilled water used in the oxygen humidifier, they are using distilled water. However, with the current situation where there is an acute shortage for the oxygen and the oxygen supplies, we cannot rule out the possibility that once in a while the hospital might be forced to use a regular water in the oxygen humidifier bottles. So as patient, patient's interest or, or for your own safety, just make sure that you look at the water in the humidifier so you can see in the video like it is normally how you see the humidifier, oxygen humidifier and the water. 
So just make sure that you don't see any black particles in that bottle and that the water is nice and clean. So if at all you notice anything like any black color, then you have to have a word with the physician or the nurse at the earliest to make sure they change the water. Similarly, when it is a steam inhalation, especially in case you are doing inhalation with the apparatus or with the vaporizer, make sure you are taking extremely clean water. The best way is to boil the water for some time and then do the steam inhalation rather than just using the water from the tap and doing on a vaporizer. For the third aspect of possibility is inhaling this from the air. So make sure that COVID patients, especially the people of the high risk category, which I have already mentioned, you have to take some extra precaution like wearing a double mask with a cloth mask outside and a surgical mask inside or an N95 mask. Do not use anything else because you are at high risk for getting this infection for next 6 to 8 weeks. Other alternative or the possible way of getting infected is through the open cuts and wounds. So obviously you have to make sure that if you have any wound or in your hand or feet, you don't expose the wound to the soil and use the protective gear like gloves or boots in case you need to touch the soil or any unhygienic surface. So this is how we can protect the black fungus infection and this is a very important uh, information kindly share this information to everyone because if you share this correct information to many people we can save many lives take care everyone we will come with another good topic